It is an honor to salute these three fine soldiers who... Excuse me, sir. How's your award speech coming? I was polishing it up and just wishing. Wishing for what, General? Wishing we could also do something for them. There's a team behind every hero. Who? If it wasn't for that contractor and their procurement team, I wouldn't be pinning, pinning medals on three soldiers. I'd be speaking at thousands of funerals. Thank God for Silk Cham. General, if we give them public acknowledgement, we'll expose them and their families to our enemies. You know we can't do that. I know. Don't confuse me with facts. I suppose the only thing we can do is give them more business. Well, there is the SDDBA project. SDDBA? Refresh my memory. Super de-duper body armor. Likely worth billions. Put them on the bid list. Now let me finish my speech. Will do, sir. It wasn't that long ago. Hi, Brooke. It's Bill. Hey, good morning. Listen, the general's coming by today to meet with us urgently. I can't go. Yep. You're right. I've got to meet with the Pope now at Catholic University regarding fixing their early warning system for Vatican City. Anyhow, the General mentioned something about national security. As our project director, you've got my con and delegation of authority. Right. I just send it to you. Okay. Uh-huh. Thanks, Brooke. And Brooke, make sure the general remembers our slogan today. Keep me informed. Bye, thanks. Thanks, Brooke, for being here and everyone. I have a lot to cover quickly. We've been helping the FBI track a new extremist group known as the Neo-Loyalists. Their agenda, the overthrow of the government of the United States of America. My God, General, where are these terrorists from? Africa, Russia, the Middle East? No, Brooke. Try Britain. What? Hey, first slide, please. This is their commander, George Frederickus. He's a British expat. He's ruthless and considered armed and possibly dangerous. The aim of the neo-loyalists is to return the U.S. to former colonies once again and call the new nation Nova Britannia. And here is their proposed new flag. This is outrageous, General. I can believe Britain is not helping here. They are helping out. We have the support of their MI5, their MI6, their MOD, their RN, and their RAF. As a matter of fact, they're fighting alongside us. Everyone, please welcome the Right Honorable Susan North, Prime Minister of Britain. Oh, no, dear. That's reserved for royalty. But, thank you. Thank you, General Tasmi. Thank you for coming, ma'am. You should all understand. Britain is going to be next. What do you mean? After they have taken over Washington, the neo-loyalists neo plan to move on to London, overturn the British monarchy, and install Frederickus as king. King George VII. Madam Prime Minister, our military can take these clowns on. Agreed, but we are not fighting a modern foe. We are fighting the bloody Flintstones. The neo-loyalists have learned from past insurgencies that they can't compete with modern weapons. Instead, they're using 18th century weapons and tactics. But sir, we own the whole network grid. Well, they're, they're not on the grid. They're more like griddle cakes than grid. <laughs> um, that's why we can't find them. Rumor has it that they're in the DC area. What's the threat then? It's another gunpowder plot. They plan to detonate a large pile of black powder in a tunnel with a Super Z dirty bomb on top. Golly gee Whitakers, a Z bomb! That will poison the entire eastern seaboard, which in turn will ter put your economy into the tank. After the bomb, the neo loyalists plan to take over Washington. Uh, before they move on to Britain. We need Subcham's expertise in supply chain management. What's your mission, sir? Our mission is to work with Britain, the FBI, to find the bad guys and their supplies, and to shut them down. Our real problem is time. We just found out that their attack is planned for 10 a.m. tomorrow. 
unless their demands are met. What are their demands? Revocation of our Constitution, sworn loyalty to their new monarchy, our president is hostage, and two lifetime passes to Disney World. General, we are Subchen, and you can count on us always. We will help you track this down these unusual suspects. Sir, we go on to DEFCON 2. Air Force One is ready at Andrews. We must leave now. Right. Agent Quinn, you're in control now. Yes, sir. Everyone, this is Victoria Edwards of Britain's MI6, Agent 70... That's double seven o. Madam Prime Minister, come with me. We need to brief the President right away. Punch and Judy. Andre, let's roll. Zashti Chensi. I got your card. I know you do. Well, what are we all doing just sitting around? We got a country to save. I want program management working in this now. That's you, Nancy. We'll do pro procurement. You need to call the supply chain and, and get information on those black powder shipments. Folks, plan to stay here tonight. Call your families. Let them know that you'll be late, but nothing else. We need to avoid a panic. We all know what one looks like. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ella, you will be our front contact for phone calls. This will be our war room. I need everything a war room needs brought in here now. Battle stations! Battle stations! Battle stations? Hi, Mary. Heard about your meeting today with the general. Yikes. Well, you know what they say about supply chain management. Living the dream. <laughs> More like a nightmare now. Uh, listen, I know the boss chose you to leave procurement was because of your expertise with explosives. I just want you to know I stand by to help. Thanks, Joe. With luck, we'll prevail the way we did in New Zealand a few years ago when we crossed some very strategic straits. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got to go talk to Jill and Ali right now on the Mars Project. If we don't get that rover up tomorrow, they're going to be in dire straits. I've got to call Powder Bay now. We've never bought from them before, but they must have sold direct to someone, somewhere. Good All luck right. with the Red Planet, Joe. All right, thanks. I want my MTV. Jeez, Nancy, the world's gone crazy and we're supposed to keep quiet, even with our families? If America knew what is going on, there would be mass panic in the streets. It's Nancy and Bones, the archaeologist, right? Look, 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 whoever you are, we need your help with 18th century weapons and supplies. Agent Quinn, the Prime Minister wasn't kidding when she said we're fighting the Flintstones. Guns used to have an actual piece of flint in them. Yeah, I read about that in the history books. The problem with 18th century muskets is they're considered more antiques than weapons, so they're not tracked or registered by the government. Drat, so they aren't even on our radar to start with. I'll have to contact ATF about this. Do you mind if I, uh, have a look around? I'd be happy to give you a tour. Let's start with research and development. This is our chief engineer, Pete Zaria. Hey, Bones. This is our Wilhelm button project. It's a telephone option. Users will soon be able to send a taser blast over the line to anyone who's being objectionable. Hmm. So, so when's this going into production? Well, it, it has a problem. Uh, everyone here is afraid of the day they might get zapped, so it's on hold. Well, what's this here? We call this our Fender solution. It's basically just an electric guitar hooked up to a computer, but a skilled user can rock out and then process invoice approvals at four times the usual rate. Absolutely. Uh, but it, it has a problem, though. It's currently broken. Uh, one of our guys tried to use it to play the love theme from the Titanic and uh, completely fried the circuit board. It's going to take weeks to fix. I'm a godsmack. And, and this item? What's this? The Micro Cow One. Works like a microwave. Any food you put in here, zap it for one minute, has half the calories of before. Wow. Hallelujah! Uh, but it has a problem. Whenever you zap, it ends up... Tasting like uh, 
moldy sawdust. Yeah, we're still working on it. Well, thanks for the excellent tour. We'll solve these problems when we get some real procurement reform around here. Check our supply chain. What's the next code for historical sites research? Don't worry about it. What? Of course we're worried about it, Kat. You don't understand. I've got a veteran-owned small business that can help. They're just across the Potomac. They know this stuff and have the right equipment. Wow, great job, Kat. Call them and tell them we're coming now. Fred, stay here and hold the fort down. Damn good throw, Morgan. I'm going to give it a try. Go for it. Missed it. Hey, nice don't worry about it. Practice, 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 and maybe you'll be half as good as I am. Hey, Morgan, look what I found. A bow and arrow. What is that? We don't use that ancient technology anymore. <laughs> Colonel, sir, the people from Subchamp just came by and delivered these letters of inquiry for you. Sir, your regiment's expertise in 18th century warfare is requested. This is an urgent situation that calls for the utmost courage and discretion from your unit. Next thing I know, they're going to be asking us to fight the British again. <laughs> Our foe is currently hidden, but familiar. You are therefore requested to once again fight the British. I was only kidding. Please review this attached statement of work and advise if you can assist. We need an 18th century solution to a 21st century problem. Yours truly, Mary Well, Senior Buyer. Well, once again, the odds are against us, and they need an experienced army. We got this. Yes, sir. You'll need to sign on for you on these documents, and I will see that they're delivered, sir. Go. Round up all the reenactors, have them in camp tonight. Tell them it's a secret mission. Yes, sir. This is Estrella Logistica, our subcontract administrator. Estrella, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Martin, is it true the FBI keeps X files on aliens? <sighs> Trust me, that's just a myth. We have enough on our hands without chasing after E.T. <laughs> oh, Nancy, I have the history consultant for us. Remember that guy? What was his name? Coins! Coins Alinsky! Mm. Ah, correct. Are you crazy? Remember how difficult that guy was in the Yorktown dig? Yes, I know. But we also have something in common with him. What's that? We are all immigrants and we get the job done! Coin Zelensky. Uh, what kind of name is that? Well, he's a veteran who has been on a lifetime hunt for a very rare coin. An 1804 silver dollar. Very, very rare. They are rare. One just sold for over four million on the market. Zelensky, he's eccentric but he knows his 18th century. Get him on board. We must avoid another A7 scenario. Gotta go to the Justice Department now, but I'll be back at Supcham later today. Okay. <sighs> How can I get file compliance on the supplier for the General's mission? Hi, Mary. How are you today? You don't look well. Thanks for noticing, Fred. Just the weight of the world on my shoulders. That's about six sextillion tons. Yep, sounds about right. You know, Fred, I like your refreshing literal perspectives. I feel like I'm on a train wreck in progress. I gotta go feed a parking meter. You know, Mary, if you feel like you're on the train wreck in progress, just pull the emergency brake. Ha, huh, good one. Thanks, Fred. Pull the emergency brake. Wait. He's right. I remember now. FAR 18.202. Emergency Acquisition Flexibilities. That will work. Note to self. My friend lunch next week.
Yeah. Cheers, George. The panels are ready. Excellent, folks. We received the last shipment we needed from Powder Bank. I proof tested. Quality stuff as always. And the Z bomb? Right on top where it should be. <laughs> Excellent. Now, if our minions on Long Island can just keep the Americans distracted, we must never again let our world be turned upside down. 1783. The US colonies were victorious. Then they rose up slowly, steadily, and within 200 years had become a superpower. They were outsiders and outcasts. We were the crown and king. They were bluecoats and blunders. We were redcoats and regulars. Dear Winston claimed that 1940 was our finest hour, but the third British Empire is coming soon. We will make America great Britain again. Sound trumpets, let our bloody colours wave, and either victory or else the grave. Shakespeare, 1591. But sire, what about all the things we like about America? Shopping malls, fast food, and the NFL? Oh, don't worry, we'll take everything that's great about America back with us to England. Just imagine a McDonald's on every corner of Kent. You know, when that powder goes off tomorrow, it will create a deep impact and start on again. What will you quote us then, sire? The angel of death spread his wings on the blast and breathed in the face of the foe as he passed. Byron, 1815. You are the literary master, your majesty. <laughs> Not quite yet, my good fellow. But when I'm king in London, a little groveling will be expected. I'll be your humble and obedient servant. <laughs> Very good. I just remember 1066 and all that. Weenie weenie weeky. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow, if our demands are not met, we'll light the long fuse, run through the tunnels, and take Washington back. Then tally her with verb, we'll cross the pond and storm Buckingham Palace. We are ready to go. Soon the cry will go out from the deepest lush valley to the tallest mountain oasis. From every rooftop, the cry will go out Rule Britannia! Security check. Well, I'm indoor security. Check. Outdoor security? Check. Hello. I'm expecting a call any moment from RAF Air Commodore Sir Nigel Falklands. Keep me informed. Yes, sir. Source. I'm here to help. And you are? Elizabeth Ross. But everyone just calls me Betsy. Okay, Betsy. I'm going to appoint you as our morale officer. See to it our people get what they need. Also, make sure our flag remains standing proud. It will be by honor, sir. Thank you, Betsy. Thank you for calling, Subcham. You can count on us always. What's that? Oh, yes, Mr. Falklands, he's right here. Agent Quinn is the RAAF. Thanks. Put him on speakerphone. Greetings and felicitations, Major Havoc. Haven't talked to you since that British airliner hijacking you helped us put a stop to last year. Appears we've now got a bit of a sticky wicket with these hooligans. Cheers, Nigel. Yes, they are. They're not playing cricket. Right. Well, we have reports on the beam of another tea party going on in Boston. And some neo-loyalists are now staging a heavy assault on Long Island. The main threat, though, remains Frederickus and Fox. We've got to find them soon. Cool, blimey. The RAF is lending some tornado fighters to help with their support. We can at least help keep the troublemakers contained. Excellent. Thanks. Also, we have sent a commando brigade of Royal Marines aboard the Queen Mary 2 Ocean Liner to Brooklyn. They are currently disembarking to help Long Island. Great. 
Well, with luck tomorrow, we'll share another pint of Strongbow at the Jackdaw Inn someday. Jolly good show. I will keep you posted from across the pond. Cheers for now, though, old chap. Cheers, my friend. Gosh, I'm hungry. I could use another Three Musketeers candy bar. Do we have any more? No, sir. They're back ordered by the manufacturer. Rat. So much for just-in-time inventory. Now, maybe a bagel. Uh, well, what do we have here? I'm Claire. I'm Blair. We're, We're the Rendell, Rendell twins. twins. We're here We're to help. help. Well, I'm sure we can use you both. I'm purchasing. I'm marketing. Okay. Uh, check in with Ella. Check with the Navy yes, to get us more air cover. And, um, oh, oh. Check with somebody to get us more Three Musketeers candy bars. Yes, sir. Yes, General. What's that? Air Force One is airborne? Great. President and PM are fine? Well, so are we. We're checking some supply chain issues. Roger that. Will do. Over and out, sir. Mr. Quinn, actress Tori Spelling, Tori Kelly, and singer Tori Amos from Hollywood called and want to fight. They just have to find the right hairstyle. So it's the Tories versus the Whigs now. Great. What's next? Sir, I have your bagel. Do you want the Concord grape or the strawberry jam? Hmm. Sir, it's the Navy. They're bringing the USS Lexington out of retirement for added air cover. Do you want them? Get me the Lexington and Concord. <laughs> All kinds. We're on in three, two, one. Thanks, Howard. This is Sage Parsley reporting from WORK here at the, at the headquarters of Subcham International um, in Northwest Washington, D.C. There have been a lot of pizza deliveries here today and at the White House, which is often a sign of national crisis. In fact, we just saw a delivery of 24 pizzas a few minutes ago. Oh, here comes a subject employee. Let's see if I can get an update. Excuse me, excuse me. What's no, going no on? Is there a national emergency? No, no comment. Listen, I can't tell you anything except... What? What? The pepperoni pizza with double cheese was outstanding. <laughs> Why do I bother? I have better luck at the White House. Back to you in the studio, Brenda, for now. Ah, Strologistica. Yes, I remember you. Nice lady. Thanks, coins. We have an emergency. We are trying to stop some bad guys, and I know you're an expert in the 18th century. I sent you a disclosure agreement and a statement of work. Yes, I reviewed them. You have to find these individuals right away. I can help you, and I will do some research. One thing, though, since this is to help the U.S. government, I will not charge a fee. Although, there'll be no charge. It's an honor to serve my country. Wow. That's awkward, but okay. Thank you. Uh, there is a small problem, though. Our purchasing software does not take zero for an amount. So I will have to pay, put a, a, at least a minimum of a buck in the cost field. Is that okay? That is strange, but I understand. Even modern tools have problems sometimes. That is acceptable. Goodbye for now, Estrella. Bye, coins. Thank you. <sighs> Powder Bang has worked with the ATF. They found records of multiple purchases of gunpowder, a total of 10,000 pounds over a period of a year. All signatures were marked box. <gasps> Our noose is tightening. Yes. yes. Now that's what I call risk management. We'll take turns sleeping in the back corner. Betsy, see to the staff's comfort. Great. This is a good story, guys. Okay, you see her here? Uh, anybody on the street? Anybody She's anybody just got work-related stress. On the street, nothing on TV. Uh, this man here? He tried to read the entire federal acquisition regulations in just one day. My. Oh my! 
And what it is? Stress, fear, food poisoning. No, she just got hold of an old clothing catalog from the 1970s. She'll get over it. Yeah, she'll get over it. Uh, here, let me speak to him. Coins? Hi, what's the latest? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Attention, everyone. Attention, everyone. Our suppliers have narrowed down the location. They are 40 square miles from the exact location. They are out to get them. We're going to get the enemies. We'll remain ready to respond like Minutemen. Colonel, sir, we just received this decrypted note from Air Force One. No demands will be met. The President is safe. You are to proceed with full resistance against the neo-loyalists. Also, as Zelensky pointed out, they must be in this area. That's only a few miles from here, sir. Yes, but we must remember the safety of most of our men against the danger of the Z-bomb. We'll send in a small squad of riflemen to flush them out. Yes, sir, but we must be careful that Frederickus and his men do not escape. We'll send in the remainder of the regiment to circle around them and set up a trap. It will be a trap! Bonjour, monsieur. Colonel, sir, this is our French intermediary, Yvette Rochambeau. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, mon colonel. Munitions pour les États-Unis. She is supplying us live ammo, courtesy of the Nexter Arsenal in St. Etienne. Ah. Once again, the French come through for us. Merci beaucoup, madame. Très bien. Bon chance. Sire, it's a horror. The Yanks didn't see to our demands. They were not at the specified meeting point. Now we'll have to hide here near our tunnels. This horror will grow mild. This darkness light. Milton, 1667. Not to worry, my friend. I had high hopes also, but we are ready. It's all a blur to me. The Americans would have been distracted by our main force on Long Island. We're in a blind spot to them here. At 10 a.m., you will light a fuse to our victory. Yes! Yes! Colonel, sir. The regiment has been deployed in a circle as requested. The rifle company is at rest here. Good. I need three musketeers, front and center. No, not a candy bar. Three guys with muskets. Fall in! Gentlemen, the fate of the nation depends on your actions. You must stop the enemy before they carry out their dastardly plan. Now is the time to carry out your appointment with destiny. Firelocks. I know this land. I bet I know where they're hiding. I'll take point and I'll flush them out for you. Hold on. Don't get too far ahead of us. Flint! Slow down, Flint! Yes! <laughs> Gotta get up earlier than that, Yank, if you wanna sneak up on the British. You won't be getting away with this. Perhaps we should dispatch you now without delay, eh? I wouldn't be doing that. And why not? Because there's a squadron of F-22 inbound from Langley Air Force Base with AMRAD bombs homing in on your cell phones. We ditched our cell phones six months ago in Boston. Rats. Well, the county SWAT team's coming in in Hummers. No, we wouldn't believe that either. How about two Boy Scouts with a slingshot? No, Mr. Rifleman. I'm afraid there's nobody coming to help you. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Help. Well, folks, seems like you found us a little present. We're neat and tied up for now. We had other things to worry about. Yes, my lord. 
but I must confess the Americans have not yielded us with our most desired hostage. Ah, so no sign of the present. Then it will be war then again. As Shakespeare said, past is prologue. Folks, the Americans have once again underestimated British resolve. Time to light up the skies, my good friend. Both of you, stop! <laughs> Let's head to the exit tunnel. Now we take them downtown where the lights are bright and book them. Are you sure I was winning? I never have any fun. Was that Chaucer? No, a Brit named Trelane. 2266. Congratulations, men. Good job. Sir, the Navy's launched a tomahawk and is hoping for a lucky strike somewhere over the bay. Sir. What should I tell them? Tell the U.S. Navy to hit the self-destruct button. Tell them our tomahawk got there first. Yay! Yay! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! Hip hip! Huzzah! And good prevails over evil. And no P-45 slips for us. And I'm particularly grateful to the general. Because, because what I think friends? if Frederickus had succeeded, he would have turned England into America. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> A Walmart at Stonehenge? <laughs> them, thinking we just sit around talking tea and scones. Oh. <laughs> well, they're our best uh, ally, though. Absolutely. Punch and Judy should be here any minute with the car. Ready for the work ceremony? Yes, what a ride we have with the general on that contract. Did you guys hear what happened to Frederica's and Fox? Imprisoned for life at the Tower of London. Aha! Uh -huh. Their attack at Long Island was thwarted, too. I heard the Royal Marines offered the minions amnesty if they threw down their muskets and surrendered. No kidding. Then they gave them a free ride on the Queen Mary 2 back to England. And the customer was pleased with all of us. They were demented after all. Britain has never been greater and they're still a staunch ally. And good old Coin Zelinsky, our CEO, hand delivered one buck. That was his payment. One buck. One 1804 silver dollar that the army bought for him of the market. Are you serious? Yes! He had to be revived after he fainted. You never stop learning in supply chain management. I'm proud to be certified with ISM. Mission accomplished. Good job, everyone. Now let's catch that shuttle to the Pentagon. And yet, once again, we have been saved by some sons of liberty. We are all proud of all our heroes, whoever they are, wherever they may be. And it is an honor to salute these three fine soldiers who have the unique history of civilians representing the best this country offers from the past and present of the United States military. Therefore, due to the courage, spirit, and honor you each displayed during the frightful battle of Mount Atlas, Virginia, we present each of you with a National Defense Service Medal. Madam Prime Minister, with your assistance, please. Attention. Flint Sparks. Congratulations.
private. Private Mark Smith. Private Morgan Daniels. Congratulations, Private. Thank you, sir. By the way, are you any relation to Jack Daniels? He's my drinking buddy, sir. Very well. <laughs> Civilization has been preserved. On the hearts of our grateful nations, nations. We thank, thank you. you.